Hey everyone, it's Peter here from LearnTech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a simple line of JavaScript in Storyline 360 to print any slide. If you like this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications so you never miss out on future videos. Let's begin. Okay, so here we are in Storyline 360. As you can see, I've created a slide which has some text and a button called Print Slide. If you don't want to use a button, you can use a picture or a link or anything that is clickable that will allow the user to print the screen. So first, we need to select the button and then on the right hand side, create a new trigger, change the action to execute JavaScript, then select JavaScript and enter the code window.print open bracket close bracket then you click the OK button ensure that it's set to when the user clicks the button that you have selected and then click OK let's now test to see if this JavaScript has worked correctly in order to do this you first need to publish your course either to web or SCORM format the preview in Storyline itself does not allow JavaScript to execute so, let's go ahead and publish our file to web. Here is the course that I have just published to web. Now, if I click on print slide, it should open the printing properties window. As you can see, it has basically taken a picture of the entire screen, and that is what you'll print out. Under the printer settings, you have options to change how you want to save or print the page, you can choose the orientation as landscape or portrait, although landscape does seem to work better. There are additional settings such as page size, margins and scale. You can also choose to enable or disable headers and footers. And you can also set to print background colors. But if you're going to print this out and you have a dark background, it might not be advisable. Then simply click save. Choose a destination for your file and click save. Now on our desktop we can find the file that we have just saved. It opens as a PDF and we can see the slide. And that's it. A super simple, super quick way to print any slide from Storyline 360 using JavaScript. I will see you in the next video.